the Hooligans Homecoming is back in Huntington this weekend for the eighth year. So Tom Boggs and Carrie Newman are here to tell us all about it. Uh -huh. um, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you we're going to tell. tell us That's about it. Yeah, right. tell us, tell us what yeah. this is all about. That's right. So Hooligans Homecoming is a reunion show mm -hmm. for people that played uh, hard rock and metal around yeah. Huntington, Charleston back in the 80s. Uh -huh. um, about 2016, my partner Nick Tarpley and I got together, uh, decided we were going to uh, try to have a party, mm -hmm. turned into a big concert at Ritter Park. Yeah. Um, we wanted to, to do something to give back to the community, so what we did was we said we we're going to have two charities. Uh -huh. Admission to the concert is food for the food bank uh -huh. or uh, food or cash for little victories. Okay. It went so well the first time. By the time we were done, everybody was asking, when are you doing this again? Yeah. And, and so it started out Great. as fun. Uh -huh. And then once you realized, hey, we're together, we might as well do something. Right. And it's gone probably beyond your wildest expectations. Uh -huh. So over the last seven years, yeah. this is the eighth year of the show, we have raised 86,539 meals Gosh, um, and over $7,000 and about two truckloads of supplies for Little Victories. Uh -huh. uh, my big goal this year is if we can raise 13,000 and change, because my math is not what it could be, yes. um, 13,000 and change in meals, we can get over 100,000 meals raised just out of enjoying time together and playing right. live music. Exactly. Yeah. That is wonderful. But uh, another way you, you all can help out, look at the cool shirts here. We've got pictures from uh, some of the bands there, but we also want to show everybody the shirts because, Carrie, you're wearing the new shirt style for this mm -hmm. year. Tom, you're wearing one of the classic shirts uh, that we're going to show everybody here in a minute. We're, we're enjoying looking at some of the footage here. Look at these pictures. It really does look like a party. It looks like a fun time. It looks. It, you know what it looks like? It looks like a homecoming. It does. That's what it is. Talk, talk about how With many people come into this thing. <laughs> so we have people. We've had people come from as far away as Alaska to attend this show. Yeah. This year, I think our farthest traveler is from Alabama, and we have a whole group of people from Alabama that came up to play with us this year. Uh -huh. um, people come from all over the country. We'll have five or six hundred people there probably. The doors open at noon. The show runs from one to eight. Okay. Um, and we do that because, you know, we're old people and we like to be home by 10. <laughs> I, love I can't it. catch the 10 o'clock WSAZ news if I'm not home. You know what's really interesting is that you say that, but there's a lot to be said about that yes. because you'll see some of these shows won't go on at the loud, same venue, a lot won't go on until 11, 12, 1 o'clock. past our bedtime. It's past mine. And yeah. you guys, I see some people in there. I saw Jimmy Mitchell. Yeah. He was up there on stage playing. He's played three or four years with us. Yeah. yeah. And he'll play again this year. Excellent. Yeah. Um, there's some people from my office got in and sang an Iron Maiden song and did a oh, great job. Fun. Wait. Um, they... Did they have couple prior of the ladies, experience? No, just a couple of the ladies that worked in my office <laughs> that said, I can sing that. And they showed up and they did. And they did it. And they yeah, did it. And really, fantastic. isn't that what rock and roll is all about? That yeah. is what rock and roll is about. Yes. yes. And so this entire show is volunteer musicians. Nobody okay. gets paid. Um, everybody just comes and donates their time and talent, their equipment for people to use. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, and, you know, it kind of takes a village to put something like it this does. together. Yeah. And that's why I brought Carrie yeah. with me Let's today. Let's talk about this and talk about the shirts because we were enjoying seeing the pictures there. But you're wearing the new style this year. Yes. Uh, talk about the involvement with Brand Yourself and the shirts and your, I guess, partnership here. So Brand Yourself has partnered up with the Hooligans Homecoming since the very beginning. Yeah. We um, make their apparel for them and set up on site and sell shirts. And a percentage of the sales goes back directly to Little Victories. Mm -hmm. And um, the food bank, so we're happy to uh, partner up with them and you know, do our little. Why is that important for uh, for brand yourself to do this? You guys have been around for a long time, and and you've associated yourself with the different charities. Why is that important for you? You know, um, as a small business, you look for uh, different community involvement that you know we can go out, and it's yeah. kind of a win-win situation. We get to meet people and make new connections, mm -hmm. and then also just give back, um, you know, to these organizations, yeah. Yeah. and you know, it makes our business a little bit more than just your typical Excellent. small business. Exactly, That's and it's great, another yeah. way to help the charities mm -hmm. because you can stop in either at your shop or come out to the event, buy a shirt, and that's also helping out uh, yeah. supply food for the, the food bank or the pets. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Carrie and her husband, Chris, have been incredibly patient with us because uh -huh. we aren't concert promoters. You right. know, we're 
doing this on the fly. So right. right. Yeah. It's and so we will come into them with all kinds of crazy ideas. Uh -huh. Hey, we want to put this on a shirt and this on a koozie, and uh -huh. sometimes Carrie has to say, "Well, <laughs> <laughs> right. that won't work." Right. But you know, the community partners make this possible. Yeah. We couldn't do it without it because yeah. we don't recoup the costs of the show. Right. Yeah. So if we didn't have community partners, we couldn't afford to do it. Okay. So. Guys, thanks for coming in. This yeah. is terrific. And, Thank and you guys. Once again, we've got the uh, details right there. There it is Saturday. Uh -huh. Well, and I will say this: WSCZ has wow. always been a great community partner. Um, I'm going to do my best Tim Ear impression here. So if you want more information, hop over to our web channel, look at featured links, and you'll find information on the show and a way you can donate directly to Little Victories and to Facing Hunger, even if you can't make it out tomorrow. Well, Perfect. I'm going to take the rest of Friday. I think so. I'm just so. going to let Tom take over. Yeah, Tom, you and I can finish That's out perfect. the day. Yeah, here. I can just stick, skip right out the door. Great job. I'm here. Great to see you, Carrie. Tom, thanks again, Tom. Carrie. Thank, thank you, guys. We appreciate it. really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, as we go to the break, uh, Tom, you want to tell us what we're looking at right here? <laughs> That's Huntington. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. WSAC beautiful weather view. cam on top of the studio here. Yes. Looking a little bit east and north of here. Look how beautiful that day is. And I'll tell you, Tony has promised us a nice day tomorrow, too. So we're looking forward to having a good time out in some good weather. See, it's that, that easy. Yeah. It's that easy. <laughs> Just wait <laughs> <the> natural. <laughs>